Hello guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Today, after I think waiting for a couple of months, finally I got kind of like a winter day and I should have actually not do the, done the videos earlier today. So I could have shown you uh, some of the like uh, nice things like winter I really care for is that cold weather. So as you could see, it's kind of foggy. It was even foggier. I did not know that. I was out very early this morning. I did a couple of videos. I told you having some tonsil problems here. It's really, really bad. I uh, cannot really uh, get up much from the bed. Not really well sleeping it on and off. The antibiotics is getting me a week. But, you know, uh, year is ending. So I want to wish everybody a happy new year. I just wanted to do a video. Maybe just no review. Time is around, uh, I think, 7 sorry it's eight okay but still the sun is not out but i was walking uh, a while back and uh, it was really getting cold and then i could see like uh, fog is passing it was very nice last year around january uh, this time around it was also very foggy so all this time it was very quiet and peaceful since i got here of course the noise was already started uh, construction the road so last day it's a uh, 31st uh, December so wish everybody a uh, very happy new year upcoming I hope you gonna have a nice uh, time with your friends and family a blast with your you know or friends you know outing you know whatever you do have fun and stay safe drive safe uh, drink responsibly and don't drive and drink and drive uh, I hear like every country is preparing like for their you know fireworks and all that Hopefully it's going to be nice like every year it happens, but uh, I would like to reflect on the year 2023 as a fragrance year and then uh, overall how it was uh, given the economy and everything. Just wanted to wish uh, say a few words, hopefully just want to enjoy the weather. Okay, that's the most important thing. Last year on this time, I think I did maybe the Creed fragrances and some Ajmal's and uh, some winter perfumes. I wanted to do like a fragrance episode, but I'm like, nah, too lazy to get the bottles, you know. Just want to do an episode. So hopefully you're doing good, you know. Um, this year has been a roller coaster sort of, uh, you know, economy was not that good. You know, it was very hot and humid for the first uh, seven, eight months. So very hectic, you know, like our country, uh, we are having some sort of a, like our country is going to see like on 7th, I think this election. So it's a hectic time, very noisy everywhere there are posters and all and uh, a lot of this uh, burning buses and cars and trains that's happening so the country is going through some unrest but uh, for me i try to stay away from everything here you know I, most of you guys do know that i don't like uh, very noisy uh, surroundings or people being noisy somehow somewhat it doesn't work for me i am a sucker for peaceful and quiet i like my privacy i don't like people to be around all the time i look for like a quiet place you know there's just me and as you grow older you'll find that you know you don't really enjoy the noise that much you just want to let's say 31st you just want to finish your work early get inside your house and then get your blanket and everything ready and get your food and then you know move you you know on so you can stay without trouble don't get stuck in jam stuff like that so that's what happens with older bunch like us so i am 42 right now so of course i consider myself that old uh, era i mean the old uh, group uh, yes, and let's talk about fragrance game basically. So fragrance game wise, I think this year was a crazy year. I got a lot of fragrances. Um, I have done my top 20 picks that the best purchase of 2023. And I did uh, my overall top 15 designer fragrance of all time uh, end of the 2023. I've done many lists. So uh, some of you like that list. Uh, some of you do enjoy uh individual reviews so i try to mix it up i did a lot of uh, middle eastern perfume this year i got a lot of views i think i did rasasi hawa size i was the very first exclusive uh, uh, review mine was the first review then many others did so it was a nice i would say first of all thanks to lord you know for everything for being here you know um, still making it still breathing even though going through some sickness it's not the best but you know you cannot complain when you are still here and then you know everything is going all right you see Yep, they are making, started making the noise. All this time they were sleeping until 7 a.m. Uh, they don't usually make noises, but today until 8 o'clock they slept because of the weather. So it's very breezy, you cannot tell, but I'm enjoying. Uh, I like this cold weather, even though I get sick, uh, but I love cold weather. I wish I could stay in a country where it's mostly cold. 
so uh, yeah fragrance wise i collect a lot of fragrances and i would tell you one thing the trend has been fragrances have been expensive that is like the first thing i noticed the fragrance have gone so so expensive that it's out of people's budget many people in our country are selling off their collection they are not buying it anymore many people stop buying totally you know i can tell because i am working with the community so many of the sellers are you know they were doing some good sales up, up to october november then it's all fell i don't know if what's going to happen next year my prediction is going to be really bad because our uh, currency sort of is weak against us dollars so everything is expensive every single fragrance they're bringing here any cosmetics any product phones cars everything's getting expensive so people are on most part are uh, quitting the fragrance game you know like i'm noticing it because they're taking a break end of the year a lot of expenses people have to pay for the car you know the road tax the personal uh, taxes their children's uh, fees school fees and a lot of things they have to clear out or they have to go for weddings end of the year a lot of weddings happen during the winter in bangladesh and then also the people are going for holidays so a lot of expenses people incur but i think after the whole year of struggle and high heat and humidity people want that people just want to get away it doesn't matter how much you overspend people just want to go to maldives thailand wherever they can get away even like outside dhaka you know anywhere near the sea or the mountains people just want to relax a little bit so people are now off most of people are not back yet in the january i think from tomorrow itself people's life starts uh, so start and then people will be busy with work again but thankfully it's still colder month and we have some you know festivity coming up maybe some uh, you know cricket tournaments coming up so if this as long as this cold weather stays good then the real struggle will start so for fragrances i will tell you one thing like uh, the most uh, uh, important thing for us fragrance heads like i think personally it was a good year for fragrances getting fragrances for me it was good it was great but many people i noticed that uh, my older members they just quit so i don't know what's happening in your country you can write down you know what's happening in your own country and how's the economy and how's the price i think most of people will agree that fragrances are expensive so are you going to be buying more fragrances next year or what kind of fragrance are you going to use designer niche or middle eastern i think at this moment uh, middle eastern fragrances are taking the whole uh, fragrance game they are doing so good because the price point versus what you get longevity and the clone especially they are really really doing good so i would tell you like uh, choose your fragrance wisely and do not fall for hype in a such a way that it's easy easier said than done but uh, hype and as in like you see a hype of certain fragrance you buy it blind buy instead of that buy what you really like you know if it's a watch or a phone whatever see not everything is going to work out for you from a company if someone says every single fragrance is good or watch company every single watch is good not everything is in your style some watches perhaps is not your type of watches okay uh, and then perhaps not all fragrances are in your taste so if you buy at this current moment if you see economic crunch time wise uh, if you have too many of fragrances what's going to happen is you're going to not even realize you have so many extra fragrances in your collection which is taking up space which is not being used if you're not decanting it's a loss so when you sell it off you can actually recover some money maybe you sell it off and trade for something that you really want so if you're going to be playing fragrance game uh, it is a game by the way but if you're playing the game play it a little bit more sensibly next year this is one of my goals my other new year's resolution is try to learn new skills maybe do something else maybe i'll start looking into watches go to some shops do a sale watches and then talk about them show you some other things with the lifestyle fragrance maybe do something new or learn to cook again some new other stuff you know some new skill maybe travel i am looking to do something new i don't know how much i'm going to achieve but the last thing that i really want to achieve is that i notice one thing to find peace of mind don't get involved you know in anything in life most of the time you get into trouble by dealing with other people's trouble okay if you invite the trouble in i did get into that sort of a situation few times this year and i regret it deeply because it wasted my time wasted peace of my mind and i met many unpleasant people so basically i would suggest you that if you are kind of a person want to stay in a peaceful and quiet mode and don't want to be involved do that you know stay with your life stay with your happiness do not interact with so many people and don't run around people who are you know using you for your car maybe or your company but you don't want to be there you don't want to be anywhere don't be anywhere be where you want to be uh, if it's if it means like me that you know i go everywhere alone and you, i i enjoy my time you know because i can control what i do so maybe you do that okay so my new year's resolution number 1 is to stay away from others business and mind my own business that i think it's very important 
So going back to fragrances, what I plan to do, I don't have any idea like what's going to happen next year, what to expect. But last year or this year, 2023, uh, most of the releases were not original. They were just uh, uh, flankers after flankers or clones after clones. I think this trend will continue in, in upcoming year. And I can tell you one thing that, uh, you know, whatever is available, that's what people have to buy. A lot of good fragrances have got discontinued. I go to shops, they are not available anymore. Prada Lom Intense, for example, and Prada Amber Purum. I don't find them anymore. Uh, Ultra Male, um, maybe a few of the other ones. Like, you know, they're very hard to find. And whatever I can find, I really want to buy, they are way overpriced, like double the price. Okay. So maybe, uh, you know, while you collect, maybe you can do one thing that you do so much more research. Go back in time. There are a lot of fragrances which are on discounted sites. You can find them for good pricing, $30, $40, which are also interesting. Hazaros visit kind of fragrances or uh, something from back in the days. You know, you can do that kind of connect collection. But Middle Eastern fragrances, be careful that uh, instead of uh, buying everything in a rush, or a hype uh, get a sample first okay or go to the shop and try it if you find 10 fragrances that is out in the market not all 10 are going to work for you okay so uh stick to one and if you have one fragrance of one type don't buy the similar type like 10 herba pura clones or 10 lanvitalum clones or 10 diorum intense uh, that is not going to be very practical for you because end of the day if you have a huge collection it's a big problem because you cannot rotate the fragrance so well Unless you have a page, I don't think you should get uh, 100, 200 fragrances because most of the time you'll not end up using most of them. But then you say like, why do collectors collect? Most of the collectors collect because it's their thing. It's what they enjoy. It's a hobby. And it's their goal is not, let's say, big collectors goal is not to use everything. Their collect, uh, collection purpose is to look at their collection and like, okay, I have this, this, this. Okay, I have the special day for this particular perfume. Cartier declaration don't so I'll pick it up I'll wear it but not every day perhaps so when you ask what the reviewers are collecting for it's a collector's passion but not everybody has to be a collector so be sensible in that way because money is a big problem uh, money is not unlimited you work hard for it so I think uh, I will try to narrow down my collection a little bit and get rid of the stuff that I'm not wearing so it's to cut, cut somewhat a little bit of a waste you know so do not waste so another thing is my humble request is a lot of countries are going through sad you know situation war you know upsetting things you know and then then they have economic uh, problems so many of them cannot afford water decent food uh, don't waste food and water my friends okay don't waste money in way that you don't need you know uh, if you really want to buy something get it but you know if you buy i i regret this year i also did the same like i stocked up on food but sometimes i didn't end up eating it because i changed my mind or you know lost interest so get uh, like exact amount that you need it may be food perfume whatever and pay your bills uh, do not get into loans that could be a new year's goal like don't get into debts okay like credit card bills can be very very addictive some of my friends they go to shopping mall and they go like i don't know what to do i'm just bored and they end up purchasing five six hundred dollars thousand dollars plus end of the month they have to pay the bills and most of the things they realize they did not need they just fell say for example some perfume there was sale going on a fragrance perhaps was three hundred dollars but it was offered for 150 he got it but he did not need it right so later on he cannot sell it because nobody would buy it and he's not using it so you get stuck so these are the things we learned the hard way so some of the things maybe i just want to share as a fragrance reviewer i would like to wish you a very happy new year i would like to wish you all the good health i would like to wish you your family is in good health because family is the most important thing if your family is all right you'll be okay you know and i really wish that you know like you do not fall for depression like depressing times can be really bad so if you're going through depression i pray that it goes past and better days are coming um, but Honestly speaking, as the time goes by, I don't really look forward to anything really grand, okay? But yesterday, maybe you cannot change, you know, whatever it was. You cannot change what you've done today, but you can change what uh, is in future. Perhaps you can look forward to that. So have a great year. Have a great new year. Have a great party. And then, you know, like do whatever it takes, you know, to motivate yourself to take you to the next year. It's just a number. It's not just a day, but, you know, we officially uh, just enjoy and celebrate so uh, 2023 uh, i would like to bid farewell to this year ups and downs good year for fragrances but next year i hope they come up with more interesting releases and these are not money grabs okay or not just uh, nice looking bottles it's just my wish you know i wish really they 
put some fragrances by next of end year and like by the end of next year i can put them like top 15 designer fragrances maybe can make that entry so that's something really great unique like Daniel's icon ck reveal or fahrenheit durham intense so far a lot of great releases but not really outstanding release that has to be in the uh, top 15 uh, ever like hall of fame right so what do you think uh, how was your fragrance here? Do let others know so we get to know and uh, stay well, uh, stay happy and uh, work hard. Keep working hard. Uh, your dreams will come true only if you work hard for them. Take care and really nice uh, always sharing stuff with you. Keep me in your prayers so I can get better. Bye-bye.